Hi, I'm Tanya Sutton at Lifehouse Fellowship. My husband Jeremy and I pastor here. And today I wanna to ask you a simple question. Who tells you no? As children, we have our parents, teachers, and others that tell us when we're crossing the line into risk or danger, whether that's something that could hurt us or hurt others. But for some reason, we become adults and we think, yay, I'm all grown up now. I can do anything I want and no one can tell me no. Well, although that is true, technically, we have to understand that the life of a Christian is a life that is submitted to the direction and leading of the Father. There are times, as believers, that we have to say no. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 10, 23, all things are permissible and we're free to do anything we please, but not all things are helpful, expedient, profitable, and wholesome. All things are legitimate, but not all things are constructive to character and edifying to spiritual life. That's in the Amplified Version. In other words, Paul is saying, sometimes we must say no. Often when we talk about living an abundant life, we quote John 10, 10, and we say the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but Jesus has come to give us life and life more abundantly. And many times we get abundance and indulgence confused. Yes, God has called you to live an abundant life, but He has not called you to live a life of indulgence. To indulge, defined, means to yield to a desire, to, to give free reign, to take unrestrained pleasure in. Are you living an unrestrained life? Do you ever tell yourself no? Do you ever ask the Lord, is this profitable for me? Is this helpful for building up my spirit? In Philippians 3, 17 through 19, Paul gives a stark warning to the believers. And I believe this can help us today. In the Amplified Version, it says, Brethren, together follow my example and observe those who live after the pattern we have set for you. For there are many of whom I have told you and now tell you with tears who live as enemies of the cross of Christ, the anointed one. In verse 19, it says, They are doomed and their fate is eternal misery. Their God is their stomach, their appetites and their sensuality, and they glory in their shame, siding with earthly things and being of their party. We don't want to be these believers. We want to be the believers who follow the example of Jesus. We want to be the believers who, yes, all things are lawful, but not all things are helpful. And we want to keep our spirit in tune with the direction and leading of the Holy Spirit. Prayer and fasting is an exercise in self-control. Prayer and fasting is an exercise in telling ourselves no. Telling our flesh no. Telling our desires no. It is an exercise in allowing our spirit to supersede our flesh. It's okay to tell yourself no. In fact, there's great power that is released in self-control. As you spend time with the Lord today, I encourage you to ask Him, Lord, is there anything I need to say no to? Is there any activity in my life, as simple as it may be, as complicated as it may be, is there anything that is holding me back from being everything that you've called for me to be? And if so, do I need to say no? I pray for you today that as the Holy Spirit reveals to you, you'll lean into His help as He reveals to you His direction, His leading and guiding, you'll lean into His help because you're not walking this alone. He's there with you and He will help you walk out the changes that need to be made so that your spirit can grow to higher heights. Father, I pray today for all of my friends who are in this time of fasting and prayer. And I pray, Father, that you would reveal to us anything that needs to be cut out from our lives, cut out from our daily activities, anything that we just need to say no to. And Father, I pray for the strength to follow through, the strength to maintain, the strength to exercise, the self-control that you said is a gift from the Holy Spirit. So we thank you today for leading, guiding, and directing us. Let our heart be your heart. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.